Summer Anger, Summer Anger Park Street, half a million dollars. And I guess you can explain what this is. This chairman. Yeah. Uh, this would have a direct financial impact on my property. So I'm going to um, sit in the audience and abstain. Okay. Yes, this is. First of all, it covers uh, intended to cover the area from the Brockton line at Arcade Plaza back to uh, Campanelli Industrial Park and also a portion of Park Street going up the hill to Ash Street. Uh, what's, what's happening there is, first of all, the existing business, there's a couple of existing businesses on the brink of almost having to shut down because of their on site systems have failed. And there's no way they can really reconstruct them on the lot of land they're on. There's also uh, some industrial land on Campanelli Drive, as you know, some very large box companies that are having a hard time renting out their space because there's really no significant sewer capacity available for them. So it's a situation where sewer is desperately needed. In fact, I think I, I told you in the past, I, I, I think it's a good policy to strive to sewer the rest of town. But this area in particular needs sewers desperately. Now there's a group of, since I first came up with the article, I've been contacted by a group of the businessmen down there, and they are actually organizing to uh, not only support the article, but they're having a small study done themselves to try and determine the economic benefit of the sewer on that end of town, which we hope will help get this article through town meeting, because it's going to be a tough sell, but um, they want to come up with the cost of um, improvements that can be constructed if sewer was constructed down there, what would be the increase in taxes, what would be the new development fees, as well as other fees that would be paid. So um, it's something that's desperately needed. You know, it's, um, it's, you, know, you, you kind of hit the nail on the head is the economic benefit because you know, obviously the, there's a lot of businesses already up and as well as Campanelli Drive mm -hmm. and to put the burden of the design onto the backs of the people that are already on the sewer system doesn't seem to be the right thing, at least for me. You, you know, I would think if they're going to be connecting and you're going to do a big project, all this should be incorporated and paid for out of the people that are going to be getting the benefit and not having the people that are you know, the rest of the town or the rest of the people on the sewer system paying for it. Well, that's a policy that's been followed here for the last 10 years that the people, I know the, the sewer articles that have gone to town meeting uh, for particular streets and the only way they get past town meeting is when you say that the people on that street will pay for the sewer. But that type of a policy really is not beneficial to the town as a whole. Now you might say, all right, what is a person on the other end of town, how is he going to benefit from the sewer constructed on Pike Street? But it's a proven, it's proven in law, it's proven fact that everybody in the town benefits when sewers are constructed in the town. And years ago, they used to have it, it was a standard policy amongst towns that there was a two-third, one-third split. This is what they used to do. Uh, when a sewer constructed years ago, two-thirds of the cost would be put on the people who benefited and one third would be on the town as a whole. And I'm not saying that's what's going to be recommended here, but um, there is definitely a benefit to everybody. <clears throat> and I think besides the sewer impact, as I told you, the economic benefit even adds to it in this case. And the, and the other side of the coin is what if these businesses have to shut down? I mean, there's another side to the economic loss. So I, I know this is and I think we're going to have to bring to town meeting and probably have some more information than what I'm giving you now. And I hope that this study that they've started will provide that. Yeah, you know, you hit the nail on the head because one of the things I've been asking for, well, for even when I wasn't on the board, is that we have a sore connection policy, and I've yet to ever see one re brought forward, even though I've been told that you know one was coming um, and is being worked on. But you, you got to have a, a connection policy. And there is, you're right, there is a benefit, you know. Um, I know the two homes I have in Holbrook, as soon as sewer came by, there was a time limit to connect. You had two years from the time it was, you were eligible to, or able to connect in, and you had to pay by the lineal free of the frontage the, um, the cost of the project. And that's how they recoup the cost. 
Um, so, you know, we got to come up with a policy meeting. There is a benefit, um, whether, you know, health-wise, economic-wise, and, and everything else. Um, and we would probably need a master sewer plan if there isn't one to be done. Um, but, you know, to do a half, it's a half a million dollars to design it. And um, so, any questions? No, I, you, uh, you brought up my main point, which is having the connection policy. And we need it not just for that, but the other half of it as well. But doesn't do you any good to put systems in if you can't require people to connect to what you're not using. Mm. Uh, I do have a, con a similar concern about putting the burden out there on, on, it's not the people in the system, it's the people in the town. And this goes out of the, this is coming out of the, the taxpayer, not just the, the people on the system. Well, this would, this is a, so this is going to come out of the enter enterprise account, wouldn't it be, Bill? Wouldn't this be coming out of the sewer department? Yeah, it would be sewer, uh, sewer related. Yeah, so that would be a burden on the sewer rate payers yeah. to pay back the debt. Mm -hmm. uh, that's what I, that was my concern. So, John, Steve, any questions? to find it as near Ash Street to the town line. Why not? So we're talking about Ash. That's right. There are other areas. I mean, we we get people coming in every week uh, asking if there's a sewer available near their house because they're faced with rebuilding the septic system and they don't want to have to do it. There's a lot of areas like that. But none, uh, no area with such an economic impact as this one, I would say. So where does this tie into the existing system then? This one, the, uh, there's two possibilities. One is to pump. It's got, it's got to be pumped, obviously. There'd be a pump station somewhere down there, Parkview Ave. Pumping back up to uh, one option is to cut through some land before Ash Street and get to the Forest Green subdivision. Yep. That's already been there's an easement already provided for that. The other option would be to keep coming up Park Street to past Ash to the top of the hill and then down because there's a large sewer at the low point. So, and how would Camp Kelly um, connect into this? Can they be grabbing? They would have to pump. No, they would have to pump up. So you have to have a, is this so is this including building a pump station down in the industrial down, line? Down in the, the low end of Campanelli. Yeah. And the other benefit to having it, once if you did have a sewer down at Campanelli, there are some town streets off of uh, Turnpike. Uh, and the name um, excuse me, Corbett, I believe Corbett Road is one. People have been asking about sewer in that area. Uh, and they all flow down towards Campanelli. So if there was sewer in Campanelli, you could sewer the town roads in that area. Okay. So but this says at the southern end of Park Street. So yes. this is this this um, design thing here is gonna be also to build one in the industrial park. Yes. So there's enough money there. So that should probably indicate that somewhere or to buy it. We'll see. Um, it's not that specific. I mean I Exactly. No, this says it's going from. For example, it's early in the town line from near well, Ash Street. So how do you get anything else other than on Park Street from the town line to near Ash Street? That's what that's what the article is requesting. That's the that's the concern being raised. If all you're talking about is from the Southern Brockton town line, the southern area of town uh, around Park Street. And this says the, the southern end of Park Street. And then they define the, the distance from the town line to near from near Ashby. And it's serving the southern end of the park. All we 
trying to indicate, Ben, is if, if you're looking to do a bit more with this than just right along that street, that it should be included in the language so people understand what you're, what you're looking for and what your intent is. Well, can I just point out something, Ben? Earlier this evening, there was an article for a large, for $6 million of a lot of money, with no language in there as to what street was going to be served. And, and no betterments to be assessed. I know some of it was replacement money, but some was going to be new as I understood it. Yeah. So I think we got the area defined and uh, This is just the design. Oh. Well, but only for design. This, this cons the construction money has to be following this next year. This is like a phase phase one to the completion of the project. Since comments, is there any of you in, that's a resident that would like to speak to the board on something that's not on the agenda? Sorry, I'm sorry to bring a few things up. My name is James Stephan, a lifelong resident. If you could just talk, put your, yep. say your name and speak right James Stephan, a lifelong resident of town of Stoughton here. And I've um, been trying to work on the sewer project to get up on the other side of town there for about 25 years and every time it's been feeling feeling I'm trying to get a team together to make this excel and um, you know I know Cynthia had stepped down last time but um, you know, there's nobody in town that's going to benefit from that sort Cynthia more than you uh, with all that property you have up there so that's one topic I wanted to go on there's another one is the antenna in town we've been trying to you know I had the deal made to put an antenna up in Stoughton on the Summer Street and um, I was almost there. It's like I'm ninety to hundred thousand dollars a month, and it's been two years and nothing's been done. I don't understand. You know, they're cutting, cutting, cutting. I just, I can't understand that nothing's been done as far as this antenna goes. You know, um, that's one more. And then the last thing I want to say is we hired Superman here. And I don't understand what went on there, but it's like kryptonite. You know, whatever it takes to get this man to try to stay here, we need him. I was finally proud to save him from Stone again. You know, we made a lot of accomplishments over the last few this term here. And I, I, just, I just, that's all I want to say. I want to, we'll see if we can get some people working together on this stuff. Okay, thanks for your time. Okay. Well, are you working with the sort of, uh, the engineering department? Or? I don't have property up there anymore. I donated 17 acres to the town. And we're trying to get uh, sort up to Nasiris and Arcade Plaza. If they don't get the sort, they're going to shut down. It's going to be like a ghost town around here. These guys are trying, they need sort desperately. Yeah, who are you working with? I'm who, working who have you been talking to? Ian, SEA, uh, John Smolak, and okay. you know, we're all working together. I don't even have any sore interest up there anymore. I donated the property to the town. I've been trying to sore that property for 25 years. 
It's terrible. It's a terrible situation up there. We need to work together. Okay? Let's see. Anything else? All right. Mr. Fian at the last meeting was asked to define this a little better because it was set up as uh, from the town line up near Ash Street and then he was speaking about uh, going down into the Campanelli uh, area. Uh, he was asked to, to define this a little further and he did uh, and he, he did add some language in uh, on ID 63 uh, include that indicated uh, that it would uh, be at the southern end of Park Street from near Ash Street to the town line and the Campanelli Industrial Park, which is what we had requested of him a week ago. Yeah. Okay. Um, then in here, your, um, we're looking at, we, to recap this, we're going to be looking at two pump stations, one down in the Campanelli Industrial Park and then one up on Park Street. Um, could be two or three pump stations. Actually, uh, during the design, the design is determined, you know, when a pump station is necessary. Okay. You you design sewers, they get to be certain depth, and it becomes excessive, so sometimes it's more cost-effective to put in a pump station. So it's difficult at this point to, you certainly wouldn't want to put it in the article that it's two or three or four, because that then ties you down to safety. So, uh, but to answer your question, it's at least two, perhaps three, would be my guess. Okay. Well, you did have a resident here earlier that talked about, you know, the need for putting sewage down Pine Street, which we all know already the Brocken line is, would be important. Do we have an idea from the businesses if they're all willing to chip in and uh, tie in as well to, if we design this thing? Not totally at this point. That, there's some ongoing discussions amongst the businessmen to support this article, to support a small study they, they're doing on the economic benefits, and, and that will all come together so it's ready for town meeting, because I'm sure there'll be a good discussion there. Yeah, my biggest thing is, is you know, if we go and spend $500,000 to do a study and do all this work, and then they decide that they don't want to tie in, that, you know, we have this in... Um, we spent five hundred thousand dollars of the ratepayers' money. So, anybody have any questions for Ben, Steve? I was just going to make a comment. It uh, earlier this evening, I don't know, some seven or eight hours ago, during <laughs> citizens' comments. I think uh, I think we had a citizen address this issue, and um, so uh, he, I think he alluded to the fact that he had some conversations with you about that. Ben, that's correct. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So he seemed to indicate and. I suspect he knows, you know, of what he speaks, that there's significant interest in this uh, by the businesses. There is, definitely, and there's some desperate need of a system. Okay. you have any questions, Dr.? No, but I would move that uh, if nobody has any questions, that we insert ID 63. Okay, there's a motion. Is there a second? Second. Everybody in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. All right, so where did we leave off on 